Okay, here are the special tools necessary to work on Harley-Davidson and custom engines that are clones. 1999 to the 1930s. And I had to pull all this stuff out to retrieve this bearing holder for the K-model engine. And I'll show you how that part of the lapping tools is going to be used there. Now, the bad news is these lapping tools, it looks like a complete kit, is uh, just over $1,000 for import. And it's true now, as it was then when I acquired this stuff, that uh, all of these tools cost more than a new engine. So, we will go back out in the shop. Well, maybe I'll uh, point out a few things here. Here's the reamers. This here's the wrist pin reamer. This is particularly expensive. It's an adjustable reamer. And here is the uh, cam bushing reamer for nose cone shovel heads. This one here is a reamer for um, Sportster. Here is the rocker arm bushing reamer for a uh, shovel head, and I believe Sportster's too. Here's an adapter for the wheel truant stand. Here are the little reamers, adjustable reamers for um, valve guides, and uh, always finish them with the sun and home that, that came later. Here's another bushing reamer, cam bearing. Uh, cam case bushing for Sportster. This is a, what is that? I believe that's a Sportster uh, um, cam cover bushing later. And here's piloted reamers here for the cam covers that uh, you ream the cam cover, uh, pinion bushing, uh, both Sportsters and Big Twins with that. Of course, the lapping tools, these are torque plates. You torque on the cylinders, top and bottom, <clears throat> to replicate them being bolted on the engine. The rod, um, connecting rod, uh, bearing lap, and here's the uh, sleeve for the Harley 45. That's smaller, you can see they're tapered. These uh, nuts push them on the taper and expand them. Here's an arbor for balancing uh, static balancing crankshafts. Here's uh, lead bob weights. Here's a uh, Timken bearing installing tool for Sportster. Here's here's one uh, for Big Twin that I made heavy, big handles on it because the stock one's pretty lumpy. And here's a Jim's uh, cam bearing puller tool that's very handy. Uh, miscellaneous stuff. Here's uh, stuff to push the rod, uh, bearings out of uh, connecting rods, the bearing races. Uh, transmission puller. I, I saw that these, uh, the pair of these things cost 160 bucks. Uh, these uh, remove the Timken bearing races. And what else? Well, that's pretty good. So we looked this stuff over. And uh, I find it amazing that it does take uh, this many tools. Okay. Okay, back here at the Brown and Sharp Mill. And I've got the uh, lapping tool guide. Kent Moore lapping tool guide. And I'm going to insert it through this side. And I'm going to install a cone and then the lock nut. Just like that. Make sure it's in there seated. Rotate it. Looks good. Okay. Now I'm going to lay down some paper here. Get this out of the way.
Hold on. Oh, the paper fell. Oh, I'll be right back. This is a counter shaft for a four speed big twin transmission. And it's made by Jones, and it's gauge accurate. <laughs> the company makes phenomenal parts. This thing is accurate as any gauge. And just so happens, it slips perfectly through the factory tool guide. Now, I'm going to do a preliminary check here. Remember, the first thing I did was I leveled this mill with a master precision level. So, like I say, we've got a preliminary check here, and I'm going to use this square, which is a cool one. It's a Helios, and it's marked Volkswagen. <laughs> That's a real German one for you. Okay, it's a very handy square. And I have an antique, number 98, 4 inch. And you can see it's quite close right there. And we'll rotate it. I think you can see it is high to my right. So I'm going to begin shimming it with the paper and we'll get it clamped down. But that's how I'm going to true this. Now the final truing, I'm going to indicate up and down this with an indicator. Okay, so we'll be back here. Hey, take a look at this stuff. Now this is something. Let's see. Here's a question, and uh, a fellow asked me, and I have not answered it. And in artificial intelligence, um, um, says here that I could click on this, and this would be my answer. I rode a 1959 Sportster, but had to sell it to buy dot, dot, dot. Well, I mentioned somewhere that I had a 68, and I sold it to buy uh, uh, my tool and cutter grinder. And, and uh, this is another one I think it's interesting. It takes bits and pieces of what I had said. My dad was a tool and die maker, but not a B-25 crew. Well, my dad was um, line chief, and he, it was a ground position. And uh, he was a master sergeant, and he was <laughs> the enlisted guy that could go against the brass and say a plane's not... Uh, capable of flying a mission. This is very strange stuff. Here's one. Thanks, Dawn, you make it look easy. And the artificial intelligence I could click on here it goes, I'm not sure if it's easy. I'm just doing it. And here over here is the other choice. I have been doing this for years. Now, isn't that interesting? I think it's kind of sick. And I want to mention that uh, I noticed that they're jamming commercials into this channel, and I'm not monetized, and I don't plan on it. So uh, I rely on donations. Thanks for uh, taking a minute and looking at this nonsense. Okay, I got a four-speed transmission shaft sticking out of here to square up to out of the Kentmore bearing guide factory tool and a, and a genuine part, huh? So I'm getting this thing dialed in. I got all this paper stuffed under here and I'm going to take a lead hammer refreshing and healthful 
lead. And I'm just going to kind of tap down. I'm going to be clamping back here. Just going to tap it down a few places. Squish it in. It doesn't rock. It's feeling pretty good. We'll do a little quick check here. Like I say, I trued this mill up with the master precision level. And this is going to get me in the ballpark. Can you see it? Looks very good. Let's see how it's doing this direction. Looks very good. Now, like I say, I'm going to start clamping now, and then I'm going to put a dial indicator in the spindle here and indicate that. So, that will be on the next video, and then I will make the cut. Thanks for tuning in. What do you think? Okay, let's keep going.